Okay, um, I'm right now on Moore and Brown. Yeah, it looks like we have a kill going on. Address 2088. It's either 7 or 1. I'm not sure. But it looks like we have a kill in progress here. Um, I'm looking for the homeowner real quick to see where the homeowner is. Um, let me just see what's happening here. Do you guys have the homeowner, uh, the homeowner's information? I'm sorry, you're what? We just pick up the bags. Oh, they, did they already kill them already? Yeah, the, that crew left, so. The kill crew left? Yeah. yeah. So, they don't take the bags with them. They have you guys pick them up. Yeah. Okay, there's that's... Different I'm sorry, there's different teams? Okay. So, this one is already done. They've already killed everything. Wow, okay. And now, are you guys going over to Temescal, to the dump over there? So they'll just call you and tell you where to go? Okay, but everything here is dead. Yeah. And you're sure, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, do you guys have a lot of... Is that... Oh, you don't have anything then, right? No dead things back there yet? Not yet. I guess that bag was... Is that guy a vet? Oh, he's okay. Are you guys USDA or are you temp workers? Temp workers? Okay. Did they give you guys training on this stuff? You guys have had training on everything? You had two days of training? Okay. Why does he have a guns? Oh my gosh, they have guns. Did they already shoot here or are we in danger of being shot? He's already done shooting? Oh, looks like the neighbors are having a party with some kids bouncing. A little dangerous to be shooting any kind of guns with kids in a jumper. Does this guy have marksman skills? Is he allowed to be using guns? He's allowed to? Oh my gosh, they're, they're allowed to use guns. This is very disturbing and scary. I wonder, uh, I doubt we'll get any police out here. They don't usually show up to anything, but I don't know. Do you have ID on you? I guess not. Okay, he's got guns there. There's two of them. I don't know. They already killed everything. I guess they were shooting and this jumper was in the air. There's guns right there. There's two of them. Looks like he's training him how to do a gun. I'm in the street, by the way, people. It's a public, uh, public street, public roadway. Okay, guy number one just, I don't know, he's getting a bag. I don't know, I guess he's double bagging, triple bagging. I don't know. I can't really hear him. I don't think they want to talk to me. Okay, he's now, I think, teaching this guy how to work a gun. 
There's one gun number one. He's putting it in his car. And there is gun number two right there. Now this guy's only wearing rubber gloves, so I don't know what's up with this biosecurity. They're gonna throw everything in the trash. What they told me is um, these two temp guys, they had two days of training. And um, in their two days of training, uh, that's what they got. They do not know where they're gonna be dumping this stuff, but they're gonna um, get a call from somebody of where it's to go be dumped. So I don't know where this is. I got guy number one still wiping down the gun. Do you guys have any ID? Gonna... Sir, do you have any ID? They're ignoring you. Okay, I know. They refuse to give me an ID. I don't know who these people are. Um, we could probably try to call a sheriff, but my sheriff doesn't show up. They just leave me out. There's a plate. Somebody, I don't know, call in this plate, somebody. That's 75543PAPA2. Uh, white Ford truck, newer model, four door. Um, wiping down guns, latex gloves. Um, fishing net, maybe this guy was gonna do a little fishing today. Uh, they've got some kind of spray in there. They will not acknowledge me, which, so fishing for dignity. go figure. So they're just uh, squirting something around, but we gotta be careful because they did squirt it in a little girl's eyes yesterday. So this two days of training. Oh, it was burning for like four I know, and this two days of training might be a, okay, so he's doing the net. I, don't, I can't see if, you, if anybody has comments or whatever. I can't see anything because the sun's in my eyes. Um, I really didn't plan to be here, um, but here I am. Okay, there's both guns right there. I think they moved them both there. So our marksman, there's our marksman. Whoops, he's gonna probably try and hit those away, I guess. Um, but there's your two guns right there. So your expert marksman. There's this guy with his fishing net. So, oh, I guess they, oh, they have a second truck. Okay, cool. There's an extra truck here too. Didn't even know this was here. But this is a government truck. So this means feds. For official use there it is so there's the plate for this truck it's a, a gray Dodge Ram four-door um, I can't see comments but FYI I did not enter anybody's property whatsoever um, I don't have consent but I, I'm on a street see it's all legal so anybody could drive down this street if they choose to uh, if they want to drive down the street they're able to do so okay I'm gonna fishing net back there okay and this is all plain view this is all plain view right here so I'm not breaking any laws or breaking anything government truck we didn't touch anything so no I didn't touch nothing I'm unarmed I'm fat mold I don't have nothing there's this plate government official use boy my tax dollars at work here look at this nice Dodge Ram my, I got that van look at this so, I think this guy's just cruising home. I think this guy's getting home from work. Okay, now they're spraying crap all over the car. Now, this is kind of weird. Now, if they're spraying this stuff on these bags and in their truck or whatever, I'm almost wondering when they drive down the road, what happens. Here. And I don't really know. So, we now have identified a gray, nice 1500 Ram. My car's not that nice, but hey, tax dollars at work, man. There you go. Uh, okay, so he's untaping. Well, I guess I'll just stay here for a minute and we'll wrap up this uh, biosecurity situation. They won't give me names, they won't give me IDs. No, I didn't call the police because nobody shows up. I think the sheriff has a gag order on me and anything that's to do with me because nobody comes. Well, I don't know. We'll just see what these characters are doing. I guess he's giving more of that training. The two-day training, he's giving a little bit of additional. It looked like he was giving the one gentleman um, some firearms training there to wipe that gun down. So that was interesting. Okay, let's see how he takes these booties off. Let me zoom in. Okay. There's Dr. Dr. Kill. Dr. Killgood. There he goes. Dr. Killgood is removing his yellow covers. Um, these guys, their suits look crinkly, but, oh wait, he's got something going on in his knee. Is that a tear? Okay, this guy's got a tear 
in his knee. Um, it would be his uh, right leg appears to be a tear. And I don't think his uniform is new. I think they reuse these. Get back in the car. Okay. So, no, um, I don't know if anybody's commenting anything. No, I didn't talk to any owners. Um, they didn't come out, but I didn't enter um, their gate because I don't have any consent to enter their gate, so I'm not going to. Um, there was a message sent to me to please come here. So here I am, the lone wolf here, lone wolf, watching uh, uh, Kiel. Okay, he just took his little, his little do-rag off and he's going to huck it in the trash. Um, this trash, I think it goes to that Temesco landfill place, but I don't know. According to these little worker two-day temp people, they said they get a call and then they're told where to dump it. So that could be anywhere. I don't know, maybe they take it home and look at it too, who knows. Okay, so he's, his rubber gloves and booties. Oh, he, look at, he's spraying his foot for him. How cute, that's just sweet, just sweet. It's like a lending a friend, a helping hand. Okay, let's see if he gets the other foot. Oh, I hope Dr. Kill doesn't flip over. He looks a little unstable on his gait there. Usually when you have unstable gait, that's a sign of, um, it could be impairment, could be, um, I don't know, street drugs, prescription drugs, liquor, I don't know. Or maybe he's just a very, very confused man. Or maybe the fact I'm sitting here taping this is making them nervous. So this is, uh, this is gonna be some good training for these two-day temp hires. Um, there's another temp hire, I can see him in the car with his hat moving around. He's, I'm not sure what his deal is. Let's go see who he is. I don't know, he's, he's sitting in there, he's nervous. Okay, Dr. Dr. Kill here is training some people. Got some dead birds in the back. And then we have this gentleman here in the car. He is not gonna, there he is. Um, he doesn't wanna be seen. I don't think these guys do either, but you know what? This is what happens when you are in a public place on a public street, there is no expectation of privacy. So they're taking their, I think their lunch is in the bag because he told me trash. So we have uh, assistance of Dr. Kill. You guys all done? Okay. No, the, the main guy here, this guy, he doesn't want to be seen. He's like an ice spy. He's like doing some James Bond stuff over here. Oh, he's probably on Facebook. Darn that. You know what? I bet you five bucks these guys are on the page. Oh, he is on Facebook. Ooh, wait. Let's see if I can see it closer. Hold on. Burn and yes! Come, come tell him! Come tell him! Fuck all of you! Go find me, son of bitches! Go, guy! Thank you! That was kind of cool. Oh, I had a guy that that was uh, expressing his uh, opinion. Um, wow, this guy in the hat, though, I could have sworn on his phone he's on Facebook. Five bucks says that they're on here watching it. But they completed this kill. Um, the execution is done here, according to that one, or leaving. Um, not sure about those guns, but you know, I don't see a safe in the vehicle. I do see, oh, that's cool. Look at, there's booties in that seat right there. And water bottles. And a cooler. Ooh, and there's a bag underneath the seat. I wonder if they got more dead stuff in there. They like dead. Oh, there he is, let's see. Oh, now he's getting more bags out. I think he's got to recheck face Facebook again, too. Well, this is good. This is just a great day. Great day in Paris. Yeah, I can't wait to leave this place, man. I live like two minutes from this um, home. And again, let's uh, also right here, pay attention, people. There is kids in a jumper, maybe a birthday party, or just having fun. And I got these dipshits firing off weapons. <laughs> Pretty sure there's no marksmanship skills involved in this or shooting training of any kind. I do not see any kind of safe um, in the vehicle. So when they're transporting these these uh, crazy big guns around, I'm not so sure they're, I don't know. I don't even know if these guns are legal. I don't know what they are. I mean, they could have a bump stock. I mean, these guys could be shooters. Okay, here's these two. Yeah. We'll just see what they're gonna do. Go to your phone and tell um, Jake to please quit calling me. There's that guy. There he is. Okay, 
my phone keeps ringing. I got people calling me. When I'm on this live deal, you can't call me. You cannot call, I cannot answer. Okay, it looks like, I think Dr. Kill's about ready to wrap it up. Let's see what these guys are gonna do. There's their driver, this guy. I don't know who he is. Nobody would give me ID, so I don't even know. But I guess, you know what, they don't really have to. Um, Sheriff's isn't here, so not surprising because they don't really show up to anything. And when they do, they stomp on your rights anyway, so what does it matter? Okay, there he goes. Okay, bye to this guy. Bye to this guy. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to be watching. Let's see what this guy does. Okay, Dr. Kill's over here. So I got Dr. Kill in the gray, nice, 1500 Your tax dollars at work. Probably not nicer car than the rest of us got. I don't know, I think he's doing a little more training back there, guys, a little more training. There he goes, train. So I don't know. The one guy with the shade seems to find some humor in this, although I think it's pretty freaking sick. I'm not sure how people can do this job. But you know what? If these people say they're afraid of me, because I know that's what they're going to say, this lady came and we're so afraid. Okay, I am unarmed. I am fat. Um, I'm old. And I am no threat to any of these people. I'm not blocking their way. And right now I got one, two, four. There's four of them here. So four against one, even on a good day, I'm not going to win that battle. So there is no violence involved here. But I know they're going to try to say, oh my gosh, she scared us. Now, Deputy BR, uh, actually, Sheriff Bianco, but maybe you need to just be, I don't even know if you should be a deputy, but whatever. You need to train your people then. Because, you know, if we've got citizens and killers that are afraid, we just have some issues. I'm not even sure who I'm supposed to be watching here because these people are, uh, I don't know. Let's see, they still got booties on. I think they're going over a training protocol, which they don't follow. So, got these two just still standing here. Okay, what's he doing now? Oh, he's gonna eat some lunch. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this killer I think is gonna eat lunch, I guess. I don't know what he's doing. Tax dollars, hard at work here. Right there, paying for these guys. <laughs> High in there. Oh, he's putting on another jumpsuit. Oh, man. Hey, can I get a jumpsuit for the next kill? Could you guys give me one? Hello? No? I won't even give me a jumpsuit. Jesus, how, what is this? Well, it looks like they're going back in for something because Dr. Kill's right there. He's suiting up. Suiting up. Like brain surgeon. Oh, there he goes. Could I get booties? No? Wow. I pay taxes. I'd like some booties and an outfit. I can help. I've been training you guys like for days now. I could help you. Guess they don't want my help. Uh, it's okay, they're getting it anyway. Oh no, who's this guy? Oh, he's a resident, I think, that lives here. Okay, he's gloving up. Now, what's he gonna do? Where is the kill? Oh, that's cute. He takes his duct take off of a nice gray truck. Let's see how he does this. Okay, people. Let's just see. This is a biosecurity apparel changing 101. Biosecurity for dummies. Let's write the book. Oh, there you go. Okay, he's gonna wrap it. Oh, maybe that's why his gate was unstable. Maybe he's wrapping his tape too tightly. Maybe, he, okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's why his gate was unstable is he's taping his legs too tight and he's losing circulation. Kind of like when you stand up formation, you don't lock your knees because you'll pass out. So maybe he doesn't know that. So if he passes out, I guess that's on him. He needs to do some homework. So I don't really know what's happening here. I don't know what these guys are doing. Their kill's done. Their truck is loaded. They got their spray out. Dr. Kill is re-gearing up for something. So I don't know where he is headed. This is... Hmm. Okay, Dr. Kill's getting ready to go. Round two. I don't know who has chickens here. I don't know who gave consent 
for these people to be here. No clue. But Dr. Kill is gloving up, so he's gonna take care of some business. Maybe he's gonna go walk back around because he forgot another gun back there. Seems CDFA and their affiliates are very sloppy. Very, very sloppy. Their paperwork is wrong, their protocol's wrong, they just kind of do whatever works for whoever. So I'm gonna go out and let him and say either he's gonna go hit another house and kill some more birds, or he's gonna go back and try to, I don't know, pick up another gun or some carcasses, I don't know. Couldn't tell you, but see, he's duct, can you, I don't care. There he goes, he's duct taping himself up. Now there is no mask on this guy. Um, I'm not, oh, he's putting goggles on. Oh, goggles, it's for shooting probably. But what I will say, and I'm not a medical examiner or expert, but I do know that if there is a, a mention of influenza, like on my warrant, that we are supposed to be like in full suits, full masks, full everything. And that house should be basically wrapped up like a, a bubble until the hazmat crew and uh, Center for Disease Control is out here to ensure that we do not have a um, influenza outbreak because influenza can kill a lot of people and quickly. Okay, Dr. Kill's going back in. They're not done. Oh, let's see. I think they're going across the street here. Whoever that person was in Mead. Um, oh, wait, these guys are supposed to be taking a shower before they go to their next spot. Okay, okay, Jay Contreras and Michael and Anthony on my video recorder, they're supposed to be um, showering before they hit their next location and washing the cars. The USDA lady said that, and so did they. So now we had another situation because they were here killing and collecting and doing whatever they were doing. Then they went back to their car and doing some other stuff. And uh, I guess they're going to another kill. So I'm just gonna hang out with them. Let's, let's just see where this goes. Wait, where's our next kill spot? But they did not shower or wash the car in between kills. And per what I was told on video, and you guys need to watch it, they're supposed to be doing that and they didn't. So this is even a stranger yet. Very strange. I'm gonna um, scooch my car up a titch. Um, I don't wanna be parked in a manner that's a problem. Can I get a suit? No? No? No, I know, but I need a suit. How am I supposed to help these people if I don't have a suit? Oh, ice cream ladies here. I'm gonna scooch my car over. Let me just scooch my car over. I guess I'm gonna be here for a little bit. Sorry, Gina, sorry, Les. I guess I'm stuck here for a little bit. Let's see what these dinglings think they're gonna do next, which I don't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's park the car a little better. Okay, they won't give me a suit. Now, why is this? Why do you want a suit? Because I pay taxes and I would like a suit so I can help them and follow oh, them. There is no disease, Jenna. If there was a disease, we would have hazmat and CD, uh, Center for Disease Control out here. Okay, what's this ding -ling doing? Okay, let me get back out of the car. Do you want me to get No, you know, you can just chill. We're just watching. We are just watching. I don't know where these guys are headed to. He's going this way, Dr. Kill, and the trainee with two days of trainee temp dude. He's over here. They said they did. I don't know where they're going. I, I'll bet you. Oh, wait. Did he get a mask? Oh, no. That's his little fanny pack. His little man bag. <laughs> what? Man purse? Yeah, his man purse. But he might have a gun in there, so I don't know. We already saw two guns come out. Oh, those look like new booties. They won't give me any. This is such discrimination. They won't give me one. And I pay taxes. I don't know what they're doing. Those ones, I think those are new. I'm still back on the shower. These guys are supposed to, after contamination, um, they said they go back and shower and they wash their car and they take a full shower and they're not supposed to be anywhere else within 72 hours, but I don't know. I'm not so sure that, well, they haven't followed anything per their protocol anyway. So I mean, why start now? Why bother? Okay, he's gonna duct tape himself up a little bit. Oh, is the driver's handing him more duct tape? Well, I don't know.
know if I should get cozy here. I guess so. I know. I'm gonna get a sunburn. Bad, bad sunburn. Give me my sign. I'll use that as well. Okay, use your sign as your umbrella. Yes. I'm gonna just stand and chillax. Get a few people to notice. Maybe stop by, help us a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. I don't know what these. Now, if they already left and they decontaminated and did whatever, now he's double taping again. If anybody wants to call the Center for Disease Control or Riverside County um, Public Health, you might want to because on my warrant it said influenza, and if there's influenza floating around, we need to look into this. A lot of people could die with influenza. So why these big head honcho government rogue Dr. Kill dude isn't calling them is beyond me. They didn't come to my house either though. So maybe they, maybe there is no influenza. Maybe there is no Newcastle. Maybe they're just trying to keep that $671 million tied up. Cause if you can cause a need, burn the funds, California, I'll write you a check. But they won't even give taxpayers a uniform. This is ridiculous. I wanted a uniform. Okay, I don't have consent for the owners, so I cannot enter their property. So I guess I just get to sit here. This is like a horror movie. Here, open the door and sit there. It's like a horror movie that doesn't end. This guy's got his fishing paraphernalia. The way they're pointing, it kind of, I think they're going to go across the street because he's pointing um, like in a west, like pointing to the west. Okay, there's his guns. Okay. Okay, they're going to another house right now. Okay, now they are going to another house. If anybody is in this area of Brown and more, I need like, okay, here we go. They're going into another house. Oh, door's locked. Hopefully this. He's got guns. Hey, please don't point guns at anybody because that's very scary, sir. Very scary. Hey, do you guys give consent for these people to come kill your birds? Do you, are you, do you allow them to come kill your chickens? Oh, they already came. Well, then what are they doing here? What are they doing here then? Because they're missing one. Oh, they forgot one. They forgot one of mine, too. Do you want them to come? Yeah. Okay. I don't want a ticket. I know. I don't want tickets yeah. either. Want Jenna, it. go lock the car. <laughs> um, okay. Um, can I come with you? Yeah. Do you allow me to? Okay. Why not? Yeah. If they let you. <laughs> uh, it's, they, hey, this is, your, this is your house. Yeah. You're the man of it. <laughs> go make sure my purse is not okay. going to be stolen out of the car. Go check the car. No, I'm not going to lock you out. Okay, I have consent from the owner. They killed his birds earlier today, I guess, and um, they forgot one, which they forgot one at my house too. So let's see how this is gonna roll. I have consent to be in this man's yard. I have consent. Okay, I have consent to be here. Okay. I'll stay back with you. The, yeah, you have the right to have anybody you want here. It's your house, your say, and that's that. Mira, tú puedes ir por aquí atrás y se la regresa a ella y el que le dispare ahí aquí, mira. Right there. Yeah, is the car locked? Yeah, the dogs yeah, because he go in the, in the back of the cages. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure they, he, they came on Thursday. They came on Thursday? Yeah. yeah they're killing a lot of stuff. Yeah, I know. But nothing, were your birds sick? No. They were all healthy? Yeah. Mine too. Join the group. Yeah. Join the group. You have Facebook, right? You have Facebook? Uh, no, me. My wife. Hi, have your wife get on it then. Okay. You can see what they're doing. He's so pretty. But nothing you, you can do there is, is Yeah, the there state. is something you can do. Love, I, you well, I, that's what I'm you doing right here. Oh, okay. So when you jump onto the, the Save the Birds, have your wife do it. Okay. You can see. You okay. see. All right. This is if. What, what, where, where are you? She can find it in the Facebook. Uh, uh, save our birds. See? Oh, so, oh, like that one? This okay. one. Face, okay. save, save our, our birds. birds. And then S O B. S O B. Yeah. Okay. Have your wife uh, go ahead and jump on. Okay. And uh, 
See, no, they're not gonna get a clean shot with this. He's okay. He's gonna go ahead and fire, I think. Yeah, that's what I do in the front. Yeah, shooting, but you shooting. can't. That's not humane killing. The only way yeah. that is gonna be effective is if you have a clean shot. When the chicken is running all over, afraid, you're not gonna get a clean shot. Mm -hmm. Please, doggy, come back here. Come here. Don't come let here. the dog get hit. Yeah, come here. Yeah, they they can't kill my all my chicken. Yeah, they, they well they killed all mine too yeah. and my turkey. They killed everything. No, no, I'm fighting this. Yeah. And you might you yes, it looks like we're gonna probably end up in a class action situation because our sheriff does nothing, the county supervisor nothing. nothing. Just go on the page. Okay. You'll get it then. All right. Um, okay. okay, this guy's behind the bushes. I'm gonna kind of go a little bit here to see what this dumb shit's doing. Oh my god, he's gonna start shooting. Okay, I can go over. Jenna, you stay back with him and the dog, please. Okay, I'm unarmed. Oh, I hear the gun. I hear the gun. Keep the dog back. Okay, they're back here trying to do whatever they're doing. I have consent to be on the owner's land here. I have consent. So I'm not trespassing. The owner has welcomed me back here. They're behind uh, the coops. Dr. Kill has a gun. He has a gun and he must be a marksman. And he's got a fishing net, so he's a commercial fisherman too, I guess. Cross train, murderer, fisherman, and marksman. What a career. Okay, I heard one shot, and I can't see right now. I don't even wanna go back in there, because I mean, I, they're probably gonna shoot me. Jeez. Let's just, I'm gonna see. oh, there's one. Hey, did you want me to hang on to your gun over here? Sir, your gun, it's out. Sir, you don't leave a firearm unattended ever. Sir, doctor, veterinarian, whoever you are, you've got a gun sitting here alone. Sir, hey, you got a gun over here. Sir, you have a gun over here. You might want to get it. Okay, they leave firearms unattended. I, well, he's got children, too. What in the hell is this? Oh my God. Hey, worker guy, you got a gun sitting there. You might want to hold on to that. You can't leave a gun unattended. I'm not kidding. It's right there. Grab your gun. You can't leave a gun unattended. That's very dangerous. Do you want it? I, I, if you want it, hey, it's all you. You can have it. They don't care. Jesus. Firearm safe. Did you want to grab this or can the homeowner grab it? I don't have any one, but I need one. You need one? I'll get it. You want it? <laughs> Come here. Go grab it. It's yours. It, it's unattended. I don't, I don't know how to do this. Well, they don't either. Look at them. They don't either. I'll teach you, buddy. Don't worry. Okay, we have an unattended gun. Now, I'm not going to touch it because you know what? They're going to blame me for something, but we have an unattended gun. I don't know how long it's been unattended for, but you guys, somebody's going to have to. Uh, figure that out, but we have an unattended weapon sitting here. Big, huge no-no. Huge no-no. Sheriff Bianco, I hope you're watching this, dude, because you got a gun sitting here. This guy's got kids. Look at the toys. A little trampoline. Hey, mister, did you want to grab your gun? It's very unsafe to leave any firearm just laying around. They don't even care. They don't care. This is outrageous. There's feathers. Yeah, they leave feathers behind for you. Let's go see what these... Let's see if we got it. Okay. It looks like they got it. Because they're getting a bag. So it looks like they got it. I don't know how they got it, but they did get it. It's in a bag. They have uh, one of their guns laying there. And please note, like they said, in between their homes and their kills, they shower and wash cars. These men did not shower. I seriously have them all videotaped, killing over there. They re-changed clothing. They wouldn't give me anything to help them out with this. And then they, uh, they walked onto this property. Aren't you supposed to wash your cars and shower before your next stop? Because Jay Contreras and USDA told me that's what you have to do. I'm glad you got a hold of that gun, mister, because somebody could die. Child. You guys left it laying there. Talk about sloppy and illegal. Good grief. I can't even make this up. 
Okay. Okay. Have, have your wife go to the uh, Facebook to save our okay. birds, Facebook, and then we have two ladies um, that can speak Spanish to her and explain. Okay. Um, wow. Crazy. Save, save our birds. Yeah. S O B. Yeah. Big S O B capital letters. And there's a picture of a turkey, which is my turkey that they snapped the neck on, which they snapped the neck. It was pretty gruesome. And mean. They kind of smirked. Yeah. Lock your gates. And yeah, you know what? Cleaning you everything. They don't clean nothing. My house is a mess with feathers and poop and everything. Did, did they clean you? Mom, here's your other shoes. No, not, big, not big mess. They live clean over here. So. Yeah, they, did, they didn't. This is about the goofiest thing I've ever seen. Here, how about this? I get the gate and let you guys off this man's property. You probably harassed him enough. There you go. There you go. Go on out. I opened the gate for you. Mom, they're big boys. I know. But they're going to say they didn't touch, they don't want to touch it for contamination, which I'm going to call BS. Because Jay Contreras and USDA lady said, watch my video, they shower in between each home, change their equipment, and wash their car. And I've literally got them going from that house to this house. No showering. No car washing. Oh, here's this guy. Can I see your ID, guy? No? No? Please don't squirt me with that. You guys squirted a little girl yesterday. It was very horrific, so I'm going to try to stay back. In her eye. Okay, and you people that are telling me for biosecurity, here's the deal. I asked. They wouldn't give it to me, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. They gave me nothing. No uniform, no boots, no tape, no nothing. He needs more bags. So, you, yeah. <laughs> Wow, sloppy, sloppy. Here's these people. Here's this guy. Better look at him. Oh, go explain to her how to do it, Jenna. Here's this guy. Okay, they're handing bags over the fence. Gosh, this is so sad. They're killing chickens. It's, it's the old, just go to save our birds. They're slaughtering everything, healthy or not. And they're, you, uh, they, they have guns here too. But our sheriff doesn't care. He won't, he won't help us. Well, that, this truck is, a, is just a regular plate. That one says government plate. These people won't give ID, so I don't know who they are. Murderers, pedophiles, I have no clue. No clue. Because... Go, go to the web page, Save Our Birds. Because they're trying to say there's a bird disease of influenza. Okay. Or Newcastle. I don't know what disease it is. They, they, put, they put influenza on my warrant. So we have a big problem. So that's what they're doing here. Go to the Facebook page and you can read all about it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my, my daughter's trying to help these folks here uh, get to the web page, the site here so they know what they're doing. I think those are... Are those just regular baby wipes or are they unscented or what are they? I guess they won't tell me. I guess that's how you take a shower in their world. Okay, so yeah, no cars were washed, no showering. And then these guys are supposed to be stagnant now for 72 hours. So these killers are not supposed to be um, out and about for 72 hours. That was what Jay Contreras said on the video. Well, that's what he said. I know it's a lie, but Jay Contreras, and I'll, I'll give you his, his phone number. We can call him and ask him, I guess. But according to him and the USDA lady, oh, he's wiping the gun down with the baby wipe. There's Dr. Kill. I, it's, they, I don't know what they do. Do they look like they don't? You don't leave a gun unattended ever. That's like a, the safety hazard 100. I think a two-year-old knows that. You know, if I was like a crazy person, I could have grabbed that and just shot at them. So, for whoever says I'm crazy, I'm not that crazy because I could have just shot at them with their own gun. Jesus, this doesn't get more stupid. Okay. Now, I'm kind of stuck here. I wonder. Did she find it? Okay, she could help you. I'm stuck back here. What is the fire lot to this? I can't walk by them. I've got a net guy, I've got armed murderers. Two day trainees. With two-day trainees <laughs> using butt wipes. 
Jesus, <laughs> going house to house without showering. Again, contradicting what they say. I mean, I, I feel like crying and I'm almost gonna try to just laugh because I've, I've never seen something so outrageous. Like, you cannot make this up. If there's a movie director out there and they read all this, like seriously, you're gonna have, just make a movie. This is insane. <laughs> I can't see any comments of anybody, so I don't know. Here's this guy in his butt wipes again. Here, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Like a helping hand, like your friend. Let's see if I can get a, oh, there. Oh, no, he's a marksman. Firearm safety at its best. Although we did leave it unattended for, I don't know, whoever's watching this, whoever. There is no disease. They won't prove it. Until I see a conclusive test result, there is no, okay, they're fake disease. And whatever it is, they're probably bringing the crap with them. It's probably in the, their lunch boxes and they're leaving it in people's yards. So again, this poor citizen gave consent, didn't, he didn't want to get fines. So he was bullied and threatened to let these people kill off his healthy birds because they threatened him with fines. That's, wow. So much for your rights. I hear police cars. Maybe, I don't know, nobody shows up to help me. Probably not. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'm supposed to get out of here. I don't know if I should go around them. I don't know what in the world. <laughs> oh, it's a fire truck. Maybe they're sending somebody for leukemia and hazmat. Oh, there's a spray. Or squirt back. I don't think they're two-day training. Oh, they're our ice. Two I know. Two-day training. Well, they're two-day training. They don't teach spray etiquette with a fishing pole. <laughs> Ugh. Just these people are just not people. They're, they're not humans. Nobody can do this kind of crap and feel good about it. This is like a Jeffrey Dahmer type of situation. What's that other freaky dude? Ted Bundy and Manson. Those guys. This is all his, his boys. Okay, there goes one guy. He's gonna, he's gonna traipse his disease down the street. Good job, dude. Traipse it around some more. This guy's trying to freaking do a tear down on a gun and clean the firing pin or whatever he's doing with his butt wipe. <laughs> I can't make it up, seriously. Okay. Hanging it off the gates. But the one dude, I don't know if you guys saw him, he hooked to the east stretch. Okay, if you Dr. Kill, what's he doing? Okay, Dr. Kill's unstripping. Here comes the butt wave, dude. That's like bathroom spray when you go number two. <laughs> no, That's but I know, but, but they're using bathroom spray with a scented fragrance. Okay, here's this guy traipsing down again. Uh, he's traipsing down the road, that guy. So, if there is a disease, he just drove it over there. But hell, we didn't take a shower or wash the cars. So, um, wow, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Lion Jones has got some explaining to do. Okay. Yeah, she's got a lot of explaining to do because I want to know why Contreras told me that they shower and they have to wait three days before coming out to a property of contamination. Oh, no, nope, they're spraying this stuff again. Jesus. Mom, back up, you're going to get it. I know, I'm trying to. I don't want spray on me. He does have butt wipes. They smirk. I think he enjoys it. Here, look at this sicko. Smirk, buddy, smirk. Les, I'm sorry I'm not at your house. And Gina, I'm going to head your way, guys, is next. I kind of got a, oh, we got one sign. We're coming, we're, we'll, we're coming. Yeah. Can you guys leave me some extra suits? I'm going over to the other kill site. The citizens would be gratefully happy if you could lend us out some suits so we don't spread your fake disease. So don't, don't tell me people, oh, you gotta wear your boots and blah, blah, blah. I don't have any, they won't give them to me. I tried. I've asked him like 10 times, give me a suit and give me some boots, please. Very nicely. I didn't even, I wasn't even rude. I was actually very nice, but they won't give me anything. So what am I supposed to do? No, I'm just trying to see if we can get that guy's ID so I can have, if I ever get a sheriff to ever respond. Oh, yep. Turn it around. So it has your weird lettering. I saw that. You're slick Rick. There you are. Slick guy you are. Slick. Slick. Slick had to flip his little lanyard around so it says the generic thing that they might have made up. This guy flipped his around too. This guy, the baby wipe dude. 
Wait, wait, see the baby wipe guy? He's got his flipped around too. They don't want you to know their names, so what are they hiding? See, look it. He, he won't. Because, the, see right there? Let's see, this guy too. They flip them around the other direction because they're, I don't know, I have to say there's something illegal about this. I really believe that we have illegal activity here. Actually, I know we do because if this was not illegal, they would be showing me ID and they would be cooperating. They would give me a uniform. They would give me boots. They haven't given me anything. Could I grab the Lysol? Could you leave me that at least? No? Oh, Dr. Phil, where? Dr. Evil has a hole in his boot too. Dude, I know you're making bank money. You could totally buy some new boots. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Whoops. Hold them up. Hold them up. <laughs> Unsteady gait. Could be from wrapping the duct tape too tight. It could be under the influence of drugs, alcohol, prescription medications, street drugs. Don't know. But I am 11550 trained. So I do know that an unsteady gait could be something different. Something much more serious. So I'm pretty sure Dr. Evil's going to drive away. I don't know if he's under the influence of anything. All I know is... He's got an unsteady gait, and he's got holes in his shoes. Okay. Okay. Make sure you shut the gate so the dogs can't come out. I was waiting to get out of the gate. Here. I know. There is no disease, sweetie. There, this is all. Uh, but they did not call a fire marshal, so I almost felt like we were locked in here because, you know, there's the gun. Where's that marksman do that? I think that guy's the marksman one. He's sweaty. Are you feeling a little nervous? Or is that a smile? It's like can the camera. There he goes. Make sure you don't let go of those guns, because if you let those down, that's a big safety issue. Oh, no, no, don't walk away from them, please. Very unsafe what you people did. Very unsafe. Still backwards, lanyard. Dr. Evil here does not have a lanyard, so we don't know who he is. There's dead birds, apparently, to this homeowner. They were healthy. So again, let's just kill it, because of... Jones's little influenza Newcastle scam. Look at this. Not that, um, this, I don't know, one of these two, remember they said that they have to wait for a call and then they, they are told where to take him to the landfill. That's okay, we got eyes at the landfills too. So it's okay. They can run, but they will not hide. Okay, now. Okay, Dr. Evil is grabbing the gun. Good job, make sure the muzzle is always pointed to the ground, finger off the trigger. It is a safety issue. I can teach you this. I think these people are leaving. I don't even know, who to, where am I going? Okay, these people are leaving. <sighs> Dr. Uh, Evil's now going to his gun. Now they do have the muzzled pointing down, which is a good thing. Um, I'm not sure about this guy and his trigger finger. It looked for a second like it was in the trigger, but again, I don't, I'm kind of doubting on that two days of training that they've had any formal firearms training. So this is what you get. Well, they don't, they just leave guns laying there. I, I mean, I don't know. Don't know what's happening here. Where's the other ones? Okay. So here's these ones. Okay. I think I'm going to turn this off. He's spraying tires. He's going to try to do it now, but they're supposed to do a shower. Okay. He's just shoving the gun in the back of the truck. So he's smirking. He, he enjoys his job way too much. God, I'd feel like horrible to do this. I wouldn't. Okay, he's just throwing those in the back seat. But because he's got that plate, he can do whatever he wants because he's the big bad government. Okay, where are we going next, guys? Cheese. Okay, I'm not sure who to stick with here. I got the kill dump. These are the trash men. So the trash men are going this way with their fishing poles. So maybe they're going fishing. And then Dr. Evil. Let me guess. They're all going to go take a shower and wash their cars. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I think I'm done here. They're going to all go a different direction. So I can't follow all these people uh wow okay well this was fun i'm summer i didn't have sunblock on and they wouldn't give me a suit okay well we got plates whoever write them down and um i'll just head over to the next spot but we got uh whoever does who's computer techie make sure you download all this because they did not shower their protocol is questionable at best 
guns laying around, man, oh man. There we go, Dr. Kill's getting ready to roll out in that nice 1500 Dodge Ram. I wanna trade cars. I need that to pull my horse trailer because look at I got a old Toyota van with a dent. And he's got this nice truck. Something is just off here, really off. Okay, well, I'm gonna turn this off. Um, uh, I guess I'm heading to the next kill spot, onward and inward. I don't know if there's any other kills over here today, but if there is, let me know, because I'll go check them out since I'm already here. I doubt these idiots are going to go wash their car or take a shower, so I don't know. Okay, well, turning this off. <laughs>